Welcome guys to this lesson where we will be going through solving linear equations. I have several different examples for you to do, um, starting off nice and easy and then we'll start looking at the higher end of the GCSE uh, questions. Um, I will show you two different methods um, that you can use and then whichever one you prefer, the one you like, you're comfortable with, um, then you can choose to use that. Right, so we have 2x minus 5 is equal to 4. We want to find the value of x, which is multiplied by 2, and then minus 5, that gives you 4. So let's start with the first method that I'll show you, using the flow chart. You may have seen me use this before. So x is being multiplied by 2 first, and then we do minus 5 on x, and that gives us a value of 4. And we are going to do the backwards operation of all this. So minus 5 is going to be plus 5, um, times by 2 is going to be divided by 2. So the effect of this is that 4 plus 5, which gives us 9, and then 9 divided by 2, and that gives us the value of x, so x is equal to 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5. So x is 4.5. Five. So if you decide that you don't want to use a flowchart method and you want the conventional method that most of us use, um, then you can use that as well. But the flowchart method, the students really find really useful because they can see what's going on and they're comfortable with it. Okay? But nonetheless, let's do the method that most of you may be more familiar with. So uh, you've got 2x minus 5 is equal to 4 and you want to find what x is. So we want to get rid of the minus 5. Now to get rid of minus 5, we want to add 5. Now because it's an equation, we want to keep them balanced. So we're going to add 5 here, we're going to add 5 here. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. Okay. So when we add 5 to both sides, this minus 5 disappears and this gains an extra 5. So this becomes 9. So let's write that down. This becomes 9 and this is just left with 2x. So now you have x is equal to, and you want to have something, a value here. Now you want to get rid of the uh, 2 here, so you're going to divide by 2, because the opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2. So divide this side by 2, divide the 9 here by 2, and you get 9 divided by 2, which is x is equal to 4.2. Five. With this next example, I'll show you both methods still so that you can decide which one that you like. So, 4x plus 3 is equal to 19. I'm going to use the first method, which is the flow chart method here. So x, what happens to x first? We multiply by 4. Then what happens to x? We add 3, and that gives us 19. So we're going to go backwards now. We're going to do the opposite operation. So plus 3, minus 3. Div uh, uh, times by 4, divide by 4. So. Let's see what we get here. 19 minus 3. 19 minus 3 is 16, and then 16 divided by 4, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So therefore, we are saying that x is equal to 4. And you could check that as well, by the way. Uh, you can always substitute the value of x in, so you get 4 times by x, so x is, we're saying is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16, 16 plus 3, and that equals 19. So you can check that your answer is correct. I will show you the other method as well, that I showed you over here so that you have both methods to work with one last time. So we want to get rid of the plus 3 here, so we're going to minus 3 from both sides. So we have 4x here, when we minus 3 here, this 3 disappears, and when we minus 3 here, this 19 minus 3 gives us 16. And then we will now divide both sides by 4 to get rid of this times by 4. So this, when this divides by 4, it disappears, and this 16 divided by 4, it gives us x is equal to 4 as well. So there you have it, two different methods on two questions. Right, so let's have a look at these questions um, on the board behind me here. We've got 5 bracket t minus 3 is equal to 25, and on this question 4, we've got 5t minus 4 is equal to 3t plus 6. Try them yourself. When you're ready, press play again, and go, I'll go through it with you. Right, so first step that we can do for this question, we've got choices here. We have the choice to expand the bracket if we want to, or we can actually divide by 5, because um, 5 here is a factor of 25. So it will actually divide quite nicely. Whichever way you want to do, in fact, 
I might just do both of them for you. Uh, you could do that. So let's start with the, uh, multiplying the bracket out first. So when you multiply the bracket out, you get 5t minus 5 times 3, which is minus 15, equals to 25. Then we're going to take that minus 15 to the other side, or the same as adding 15 to both sides. Um, so we have on this side, when we add 15 here, we, this goes, and this one gains the 15, so 25 plus 15, that equals 40. So we have 5t is equal to 40. So now we want to get rid of that 5, so we're going to divide both sides by 5. So we have t is equal to 40 divided by 5, and t is equal to 8. Now, I did mention that we can do this another way, which is to divide the 25 by 5 first. So if you do 25 divided by 5, so both sides you divide by 5 first, Let's do that over here. So we're going to divide both sides by 5. Um, that will leave us with t minus 3 here. So t minus 3. And that will be equal to 25 divided by 5, which is 5. And therefore, you're just left with t now by adding 3 to both sides. So we're going to take, or we can take the minus 3 if you like. If you prefer to think of it like that, we're taking the minus 3 to the opposite side, and the sign will change. So that will be 5 plus 3, which is 8. Both ways, we've got our answer. Over on to this question now. Now you will notice that we have t's on both sides. So we need to collect the t's onto one side first. Now because this has 3t and this has 5t, this is smaller. So let's make this move over to this side. So in other words, we're going to take away 3t from both sides. I like to think of this as moving one thing over to the other side and keeping a balance by changing the sign. So if you want to think of it like that as well, you can. So we're going to take the 3t over to this side. It's a positive here. So on the other side, it's going to become a negative. So 5t minus 3t gives us 2t. And the minus 4 is still there, so minus 4 is equal to, and 6 is left there, so that's equal to 6. Next, I want to get rid of the minus 4. So I will add 4, or I will take a minus 4 to this side by adding 4. So therefore, I'll have 2t here. When I add 4, that goes away, or when I take this to the other side, it goes to the other side. And 6 plus 4, that gives me 10. And now I'm left with t, and I will divide both sides by 2. Let's write down what we're doing here. So 10 divided by 2, and t is equal to 5. So there you have it, four different questions I've done so far, which are qu relatively quite easy, quite simple. Maybe your um, foundation paper uh, going into the early part of the higher paper. There will be now, I will look at, more harder types of questions that you may experience on the higher GCSE.